I wonder if you guys know what I am doing. Today, I am saving myself some money and doing something I haven't done in a while. But it's part of being prepared for the future and it's one of the things that a lot of parents don't teach their children because a lot of parents don't know how to do what I'm doing right now. But when you know, you know. And I wonder if you guys know what it is that I'm doing. I am trying something new here. I don't know if it's going to come out good, but I am <laughs> changing my own oil. There we go. I was pondering whether or not to record this, but let me see. Ooh, there's a little bit. Maybe you can get a better angle here. And try to make sure I can do this. Yeah, that might work. It might work. Anyway, uh, let me grab some gloves real fast. I just recently moved from Connecticut to Indiana well, about a year and a half ago. And uh, I had to leave a few tools behind. Couldn't bring everything. It was quite the ordeal to uh, to move and uh, drive about 19 hours from where I was with a big, big truck. Hopefully the sun will come out good on this. Uh, I have a fan below me. It's about 98 degrees outside right now and I'm in my pole barn under a warm car. Although I let it cool down, but uh, anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I was just thinking, you know, we all talk about being prepared and the shit hits the fan and all of that stuff and it's all so great, but I am surprised of how many people, how many people I know that don't know how to do a basic thing like this, changing changing oil and I am trying to do this of course while I film and it's going to be interesting because uh, I couldn't find my ramps by the way so I'm I'm a little bit in a bad place here but I'm still going to film this and talk to you guys about you know some of these things that are going on in the world there we go Oil's coming down, and I got the thing here for the bolt. Uh, just about what's going on in the world, and all of this stuff that's going on uh, with the Olympics, which was, it's pretty interesting. First of all, as some of you guys, ones of you who watched my channel long enough, you know that I'm a Christian man, and uh, I value my, you know, being Christian, my Christian values are very important for me. And of course, all of this uh, blasphemy that's going on on TV with the uh, Olympics, the Paris Olympics, I wanted to share something with you as a Portuguese American. I, I was raised in Portugal, born in Portugal, raised in Portugal until I was uh, 16 years old. So I grew up in Europe travel through Europe and let me share something with you the French have always been known for being the more liberal kind if you get my idea and uh, with that in mind I was surprised but I wasn't surprised to see what we all saw if you're following the Olympics of course now I'm boycotting the Olympics I'm not watching them at all but uh, got the oil change, got the oil out as you can see. But anyway, um, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised to see something like that coming from the French because, uh, you know, they're an interesting breed. Uh, of course, the France that I know from when I was young and 
up until I moved to the United States is not the France that we know today. And sorry guys, I'm just uh, squealing a little bit here because i uh, got to get this filter out and try not to get any uh, anything on the, in the floor. Uh, there we go. Okay. Got it. So anyway, uh, yeah, the French French are interesting people. They uh, they are the more liberal kind, and so again, without repeating myself too much, I'm uh, although they are a very Christian country, uh, I am surprised, but I'm not surprised to see something like that coming from from them. But you know, people get upset and. Yeah, I was kind of upset in the beginning, but I'm not upset anymore. I'm sad, and I am, uh, I, I forgive, you know. Uh, Jesus uh, taught us to forgive. And so we forgive, but you don't have to accept things, and uh, you can forgive. You don't have to forget, but you can forgiven you don't have to be upset after all not everybody's going to make it to uh, heaven not everybody's going to be Christian and uh, that's just the fact of life so well what can we learn from this uh, we can learn that the world is going through a lot of changes and uh, I don't know you know, it's not just in the United States, it's not just America that is having changes. Europe is having tremendous changes also. Europe, Asia, you know, uh, Africa, you know, although we don't hear it a lot in the news. There's a lot of things going on, uh, not just in America, but all over the world. The thing is, the media doesn't tell you everything they don't tell you everything but being somebody that has roots and connections in Europe and friends all over the all over the world really I was blessed with in my past life as a professional musician I was blessed with traveling a lot and uh, making friends and meeting people all over the world so I'm gonna let this drip down a little bit let me get the other let me get the other filter the new filter it's over there uh, all right and back so yeah this world is going through uh, a lot of changes and uh, you know but at the same time I'm also seeing a huge a huge um, changing people also I'm seeing a huge Christian movement. I'm seeing, uh, you know, people uh, coming together in faith, coming together in the communities, and that's also uh, that's also encouraging, if you will, for lack of better words. It does seem like. Yeah, it is the same filter. Just checking the filter, guys. And uh, a little oil in here. Uh, yeah, so the world is, is having a lot of changes. It is going through a lot of changes, but I am confident and I am uh, hopeful that, you know, we, we can come together and overcome the uh, all of this nonsense that's going on but what can we do what can we do to make things better that's the great question <sighs> all right sorry guys I had to stop not stop but I had to get these these adapter off and ready so I can tighten things up but, so the question is, what can we do? What can we do to make this world better? And as a Christian man, of course, my first uh, 
thought is, well, we can pray. All right. So, I got both filters out, as you can see. But I have found a part in the floor like that. I'm wondering, it's like, what the hell was that all about? But it was simple. It's the gasket that fell off of the uh, old filter. And uh, that's what it was. All right. But see, little things like that throws off these 54-year-old guy. But uh, yeah, so we're good. Good to go. So anyway, um, we have to do our part though, guys. And it's just unbelievable to see how many people, for example, don't vote in this country. Oh, I'm not voting. I don't like any of them. Well... Uh, or uh, you know just people who just don't vote because they don't they just don't care and that's that's particularly uh, uh, upsetting because so you complain about all of these problems you complain about the president you complain about but then you don't go out and do your civil duty and you don't vote so uh, okay then stop talking you know is that what you're going to do also if the shit hits the fan? Just talk? Or are you going to expect other people to vote for you and feed you and, and do everything for you? Well, anyway, I know I'm going off topic a little bit here. And I just wanted to do something for you guys just off script. Just just talk. But, uh, you know, I was going to do this car, these oil change today. And I thought, well, you know what? How many of you parents out there teach your kids how to change the oil in their car, for example? Uh, it's a simple, simple skill to learn, but that you just don't see parents taking the time very much to teach their kids how to do it. There we go. Teach your kids to go out and vote. Teach your kids how important it is to go out and vote and be a part of, of your community. Teach your kids how to change the oil in the car. You know, they're not always going to be able to pay for an oil change, but if they have a car, you know, they're gonna need an oil change eventually. So, what do they do? I was lucky that I always uh, enjoyed spending time with older people and learning from my elders. But, you know, my father was an accountant. He was really not very uh, mechanically inclined, and that's okay. He taught me other things, you know, uh, how to do a checkbook, you know, things of that nature, which, are, which is very important also. So pass on the skills. Pass your skills on to your children and teach them because things are getting harder. They're not always going to have the money. Hopefully they will. Hey, if they do, great. But they're not always going to have the money to make these, these, these changes and, and to pay for a mechanic to do basic things like an oil change. So, uh... You gotta, you gotta pass on the knowledge. Let's go up on top and check and get oil. This girl. All right. All right. So let's get this finished. This oil change. But yeah, so this world is going through a lot of changes and it's up to us to pass on our skills to our children. Ah, man, it's hot. 
98, I think, 98, 97, 98 degrees last I checked. I got a fan running behind me. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. But, yeah, we have to teach our children, pass on our knowledge and uh, educate ourselves so that we can pass on to our children also. So not only we're learning new skills, new languages, mechanics, whatever it is uh, for us, we're learning them for us, but also to pass on to future generations. And God forbid if shit hits the fan, as they're saying, uh, you're gonna need to know some of these things because uh, at that point, when money is no good or you don't have the money or whatever, you gotta do it yourself. And if you can't do it yourself, then uh, and you gotta rely on other people, they're gonna expect some form form of payment. You're gonna know some form of retribution. So you might not have what they want, so you shit out of luck. And that's just basically how it is. Anyway, uh, I hope I'm not boring you guys with this little talk. But just wanted to share some of the thoughts that are going on in my mind. So going back to the Olympics, yeah, I'm surprised because they're a Catholic uh, country. But I'm not surprised because it's France. But here's the thing. Uh, France of uh, the 1970s when I grew up in Europe is was very different than what it is today and uh, let's see if I can climb up here this is the beautiful thing about a Jeep yeah so France has changed a lot France has changed a lot and uh, you know, France and England are having a huge, huge problem with uh, legal immigration just like the United States. And that's where I start getting a little bit worried, or a lot worried. It's that, unfortunately here in the United States, we uh, have been experiencing exactly that uh, with the... Uh, Biden administration and the Kamala Harris uh, no show for her job thing uh, but yeah so England and France have been suffering a lot with for years now uh, ever since the uh, European communities got together and all of that nonsense um, which uh, opened up the borders and uh, allowed all of the uh, illegal immigration and all of these uh, uh, people to move into uh, into Europe and basically uh, you know it's like having a fine wine and then you watering it down. So I'm gonna have to continue this conversation from here because my camera crapped out. under a tornado warning so just wanted to share this moment with you guys maybe the last one I share with you who knows but the skies are looking menacing Riley tornado is gonna take you if you're not careful Anyway, welcome to southern Indiana. So this is how to make, make for a very interesting video as I'm trying to film this. First the camera runs out, then I go over there and it runs out again. So I got the oil change done and uh, 
As I was talking to you, the GoPro crashes and stops working. So I went over here and we have a tornado warning going on. So the sirens haven't gone off. So, so far I think we might be okay. But as you can see, the weather is pretty uh, interesting out in the back. <laughs> anyway, this is crazy. But makes for an uh, interesting video, that's for sure. Anyhow, as I was saying, teach your children, learn some trades, learn new things so that you can culture yourself, but you can also help the future generations. And if you're a parent, a father, in my case, pass it on to your children. That's important. Teach them to pray, teach them to read the Bible, and teach them different trades. That's something I've always done with my kids. And uh, keeps them motivated, and you never know. Those are skills that they will carry forward, hopefully teach their own children. And, uh, you know, maybe help them in the future, because one never knows, one never knows. I mean, today I could have spent $130 to change the oil in my Jeep. I decided to do it myself. It cost me $41 for everything. That's the oil, the filter, and the uh, air filter also. Anyhow, well, I think I'm going to cut it off and uh, cut it short and uh, keep my eyes in the sky. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys... Uh, take something from this message but yeah we're living through hard times and I don't know we'll see I think things are gonna get uh, I think things are gonna get harder before they get any better or worse before they get any better but uh, you know the liberal media and the liberal movement is trying to push very hard their agenda trying to push their agenda very hard and we just got to stick by our uh, guns, literally, probably, but we'll see. Well, things are flying. I better go. Guys, I will talk to you soon. All right, have a good day.